Hi, Grigsby Gators. This is Mrs. Wilder. Today is Wednesday, March 25th, 2020, and I'm here today to talk to you about some reading and encouraging you to read. There are a couple of things that I'd like to talk to you about to help you continue your education uh, and your reading education. And one thing is that the Six Mile Regional Library District is suspending their rules for you to access the on their online library sources. Um, you will be getting a temporary SMRLD library card, which means you can read books online through the Six Mile Regional Library here in town. Um, I just signed up for their online resources today, which that should open that up for you. And when I get the information on how you are supposed to access their online library, I will be passing that on to you through Google Classroom. Also, I would like to recommend a couple of books for you to read while you're home. Maybe this would be like your uh, weekly reading list. And the first book I would like to recommend is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. The genre of this book is fantasy, and it's about two brothers and two sisters that end up staying with an uncle uh, in a big house that he ha has, like in the middle of nowhere. And it's about some of their adventures and some of the things that go on uh, through their time with their uncle. When you finish reading this book, there is also a movie that you can watch. Some of you may have already watched it, but the book and the movie are always different. And sometimes it's interesting to see what the differences are and what's different between the book and the movie. The next book I would like to recommend is The Outsiders by S. E. Hinton. This is a book about a group of boys who are kind of like, they're, they're kind of in a gang, but not the kind of gang that we would think of. And they're just a group of boys that go around and they're really good friends and their adventures and some of the things that happen to them. Uh, there's also a movie about this book as well. It's an older movie, but it's a really good movie. And the author, S.E. Hinton, is actually, she, she actually has an interesting story. First of all, she's a female. She's not a male. And she wrote this book when she was younger, probably early 20s. I'm not really sure. But the interesting thing is, and what I always found interesting about her, is uh, her English teacher in high school, her writing teacher, did not think she was a very good writer. And it turns out that S.E. Hinton became a very famous American author. So in, in, anyway, her story is interesting, as well as some of the books that she has written. She also wrote a book called Tex, and she has quite a few other books. She's a very good writer. Uh, the next book I would like to recommend is Holes by Lewis Sacker. Holes is a sto story about a boy, and... It seems like everything that could go wrong goes wrong in his life. He gets in trouble for things he didn't do. Just he's always seems up being at the wrong place at the wrong time all the time. So anyway, it's a very good book. And of course, there's a movie to go along with that as well. The last book that I am recommending is Because of When Dixie by Kate DiCamillo. This is one of my favorite books that I do with fifth graders. It's usually the first book I do in the semester, and I did this with my language arts class this year, but maybe you weren't in my language arts class and you didn't get to read it. I also use this book in summer school, and this is a wonderful story about a girl named Opal who has to move with her father after her mother leaves them, and they move to the state of Florida, and it's about her rebuilding her life and learning how to make new friends, and it's about her adventure. So it's a book that I absolutely highly recommend. I love Because of Winn-Dixie. Of course, there's a movie about Because of Winn-Dixie, but you're not going to find it on Google, and you're not going to find it on Amazon. You're going to have to go to YouTube, and it's an old, old movie that was made about this book. So these are the four, my four books book picks for this week, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Outsiders, Holes, and Because of Winn-Dixie. So if you get a chance to read those books at any time during this pandemic, 
I highly suggest all of them. I'm going to try every week to make book recommendations for you. Not that you have to read all of them, but it's an option for you or something that you can do or something for you to look for or a place to start to find to start reading on your own more. Um, another thing I want to tell you is that let's say you don't have these books or you don't have access to these books and it's just not an option for you and you really don't have books in your home or books like this in your home. Well, there are other things you can read. The main point here is reading, not about what you read, but how much you read and that you are continuing your education and you are continuing to read. One of the things that happens is every week, the Advantage newspaper comes into your mailbox. The mailman puts it in your mailbox for you every week, or I'm sorry, every month. And he puts that in your mailbox every month. You can read that and it tells you everything that's going on in our community and in our city and it's a nice way to stay connected even though we are inside at this time the other thing that happens and i'm not sure how often it comes but we get you get this newspaper and this pink paper like this and you get these and they end up on your lawn and most of the time we kind of possibly ignore them but this is a good time to pay attention to them because inside of that we have the Belleville News Democrat newspaper. You can read the newspaper and find out what's going on in our uh, community. And so anyway, this is an another resource that you can use so that you can read and so you can keep your reading scores up and so you can keep your reading levels up. And so you're not spending all of your time just watching TV or playing games but that you're reading. Also, this is a good time to start something new. Maybe you and your family can start working on some recipes together and looking at cookbooks. And maybe you can kind of start helping out a little bit and learning some things that you don't normally pay attention to. So this is a time for you to do something different and something new. And I highly recommend that you go ahead and do that. And also those cookbooks and those recipes, ah, you have to read those. So that's a good thing as well to keep your reading skills going. Um, I just want to tell you guys, uh, we are going to get through this and this is going to be over sooner than we think. And I just want to encourage you to keep learning and keep reading and keep going. I know it's yucky outside and you can't do much outside. It seems like it rains every day and it seems like it's cold every day, but I'm telling you that's going to get better too. The sun is going to start shining again. The weather's going to get warmer. You're going to get to go outside more, but until then you have many other things you can do. I have this general rule in life that I try not to look at the things that I can't do, but I try to look at what I can do. And that's what I focus on. I don't look at what I can't do. I focus on what I can do. So instead of worrying about what you can't do right now, until you've done everything you possibly can do, then we don't worry about what we can't do. So in other words, there are many things you can read. There are many things you can learn. There are many games that you can learn to play. There are many opportunities for you to learn and grow, even though you're inside. So stay strong, Gators, stay well, Grigsby Gators, and stay safe. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.